With over 2,000 different varieties of cheese in the world, it might be hard to choose your favorite. That's why we set out to find a cheese expert to tell us all about this delicious food. Santa Monica College, number one in transfers and top job trainer on the west side. Learn more at smc.edu. The technique of the cheesemaker is vital, right? And even more vital than the technique of the cheesemaker is the quality of the milk that he or she chooses to use. Generally, the goat's milk are the leanest and most acidic to have that kind of tart, lemony feel. Cow's milk tend to be the creamier ones, uh, and then sheep's tend to be a little like oily, a little bit more bitter, more like green olive kind of uh, feel to them. I have, I have to hedge everything I say. There's, you know, 10 different breeds of sheep at least that produce milk for cheese, and all of those milks are quite different from each other, and some of them taste more like cow's milk, and so it gets pretty complicated. There's general categories that cheese falls into, and there's bloomy rinds, washed rinds, blue cheeses, and hard cheeses, and even in those are sub categories. The bloomy rinds are the things with those white fuzzy rinds, like what people normally would refer to as brie. That's one category of cheese, and those include really rich things like the double and triple creams, which are very, very high butterfat content. Then there's the washed rinds, which are generally softer cheeses also, but those are what we call the smelly cheeses. Those are the stinky cheeses. They smell like feet or body odor. You have to get past the smell and into the cheese. And then there's the hard cheeses. The difference between the hard cheese and the soft cheese is very simple. There's less moisture content. That's it. Uh, paradoxically, the harder the cheeses are, the more fat they're gonna have per volume. People always say, I don't wanna get any soft cheeses because they're too fatty. Let me have a real hard, dry old cheese. And that's fine, I'll give you whatever you want. But just so you know, those are the ones with the most fat in them because they have the least water. The soft cheeses are all water, the hard cheeses are all cheese. So you're eating a lot more of it. And then we have blue cheese, which were injected with mold. There's a lot of subcategories within those major categories. What you should be looking for is, do I like this? Right? That's more important than anything else. It's about pleasure. Get what you like, don't get what you don't like.